Hi, boys and girls. I'm in a different place today. We're starting a brand new packet. You just picked up your third packet from preschool. And this one's all about plants and growing plants. So today I'm outside my house and see that building right there? The one with all the glass? That's called a greenhouse. And today you're gonna make your own greenhouse. So let me tell you what you're gonna need to get started on this packet. We stapled a few things together like this. There's a plastic bag and inside the plastic bag is a little journal. You're gonna need the journal. And then there were some beans inside. Now before you start on this packet, you wanna make sure that your beans, mine are white, yours are red, I think. Hmm. There's the beans. Make sure your grown up help you, helped you soak those in water, okay? They need to be soaking for at least five hours before you can start this. So along with the bag is a paper towel and a sheet that looks just like this. You're also going to need scissors, something to color your greenhouse with, I have crayons today and a pencil. That's all that you need. So before we start the lesson, let's take a look at what a real greenhouse looks like. We noticed our observation, that's what we see on the outside, is that it's made mostly of glass. Now I'm gonna take you, we're gonna go inside the greenhouse. Come with me. The field trip, boys and girls. <laughs> so here we're gonna go in the door. What's inside this greenhouse? <gasps> Look at the plants. I have vegetables and I also have some flowers growing. This right over here, boys and girls, tells me how warm it is in here. Inside a greenhouse, it's much warmer than it is outside. And that's what helps the plants grow. It gets really warm and the glass lets all the sunlight in. And that helps the plants grow also. So if your mom and dad ever buy plants at a store, they were probably started inside a greenhouse just like this one, or a lot like this one. So boys and girls, let's learn how we're gonna make our own greenhouse. I'm gonna let Mrs. Mormon tell you a little bit more. Hi, preschool friends. I'm gonna share a story with you today. This is called Watch Me Plant a Garden. This is a little boy who's getting ready to plant some seeds. My name is Mark. I'm going to plant a garden. And you can see he's got the things he needs. What do you see there? He's got some soil. He's got a watering can. He's got a container and he has seeds. I will grow green beans in my garden. Here are the green bean seeds. So these are the kind of seeds that he's going to grow. I'm going to plant seeds in this box. First I pour, pour the soil into the box. He's putting in some soil. Then I make holes in the soil for the seeds. I make each hole two inches apart. You've got to make room for the plants so when they grow, they have room. They can't grow too close to each other or it won't work. I put one seed in each hole. Do you see how he's doing that? Very cool. I bet Mrs. Holstein did that when she was planting her seeds in her greenhouse. Next, I cover the seeds with soil. I make sure that all of the seeds are covered. That's like a little blanket, boys and girls, when they get covered up with a little bit of dirt or soil. Soil's just a fancy name for dirt. They're being covered up with the little blanket to keep them warmer when the sun shines on them to help them grow. Then I pour some water on the seeds. The seeds need water to grow. So we know that they need soil, they need sunlight, and they need water. They also need space, don't they? We talked about not putting them too close together. My garden is finished. I put the box near the window. The seeds also need lots of sunlight to grow. 
That's pretty cool. Soon I will have big green beans like these. I cannot wait. Do you like green beans? I do. I know some people don't like them very much, but I love them. I want to show you how to make this part. So can you see your paper when you got it in your packet? Was it fancy like this or was it just white like this size? It's just white. So today I want you to color this and I want you to make some kind of a neat design on the outside, whatever you think would be fun. And if you need to stop the video for a little bit so you can take time to do that coloring, that's okay. You can do that. You can stop and then you can come back, you can color and then you can come back and you can play the video again to see what else is next. So after you finish all of this part, put your name on, it says Mrs. Mormon's Greenhouse. It's a good idea to keep practicing your letters. That's why we want you to write your name there. And it says plant it on, and I'm planting mine on May 4th. So that's what I wrote on there, May 4th. Now you need to get a pair of scissors. And remember, whenever you use scissors, we always put our fingers in the bottom, our thumb in the top. And remember in my class, we say the alligator opens his jaw, chop, chop, chop. So you're going to do some chopping today. Ready? So you're going to cut on the line. There's really, I'll show you the lines close up. There's some really nice thick lines to help you figure out where to cut. The tricky part is coming up at the angle here. Do you see these two triangles that you're going to cut off? Those are going to get cut off. So make sure when you cut that you stay on the lines. And if it's tricky, you can ask a grown up to help you. So here we go. I'm cutting straight across right now. Okay, and I'm just going to cut straight through. I cut the piece right off. That's the easiest way. Now you can turn your paper so that you're turning, you're going to cut straight on a line again. Ready? So here we go. Cutting right up that line. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut it straight all the way off to the top. I'm just going to cut all the edges off first. Do you see how I'm going around the shape? And I'm cutting off all the edges. I'm doing that first. So I'm going to go across the top now. I'm going to cut right off across that thick line. There we go. I'm going around. I'm going to go straight across. Okay. I have one more side to do that's long. So I'm going to go right across that now. There we go. And this is good. Cutting is good for your fingers. It builds strength and it makes it your, your fingers strong. Okay. Did I finish or do I have some left? Mm, I have some left right here and here. This part could be a little trickier, but I know you're going to be able to do it. Find that line. Do you see the line right here? Can you see that line right there? I'm going to cut across that now. I'm going to cut that triangle right off. Cut right up to the point and stop. Look at that. One left. I know you can do it. Okay, now this part right here, these are directions on how to put this whole greenhouse together. You can cut, that part needs to be cut out too. This is where it gets tricky, kids. If you need a grown up to help you, I recommend you have either a grown up or if you have an older brother or sister that can help you, ask them to help you. But I'll show you a little trick to get started. Gently kind of fold it and make a little snip. See, I made a little snip. I made a little spot. I may, maybe I need to make it a little bigger. That's a spot, watch this, where I can get my scissors in and I can go over to cut over to a, to a, a line. So I'm gonna go over to a line. This is where it gets tricky because I can't cut straight through or I'll cut my, my greenhouse in half and I don't wanna do that. But see how I made a little flap I can hold? Now I can cut up the side. And again, this is really tricky. Even grown-ups might struggle a tiny bit with this. So if you're having a hard time, don't feel bad. Just have your parent help you. I'm gonna cut around the outside. I'm gonna cut that opening. I'm trying to save the directions just a little bit so that in case your grown-up needs to look at them to help you with stuff. I'm going around the, the bottom now. Can you see? There we go, one left. One side left to finish. Okay, I've cut that opening. You wanna see how it looks? Wow. I colored my greenhouse green. Did you notice, was Mrs. Um, Holstein's 
greenhouse was her screen. No, it was, it was glass windows. I don't know why I colored it green. Maybe because it's called a greenhouse, just for fun. Okay, now it's Mrs. Wallace's turn. She's going to help us build our greenhouse. All right. Thanks, Mrs. Mormon. Yeah, so I, I don't have mine colored yet, um, but I do have it all set, all cut out. And I put, um, probably can't see that, I put it in pencil. Mine says Mrs. Wallace, May 4th and it's all ready to go. So, so we're, I'm gonna put that down, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna find um, my plastic bag, and my paper towel, and my beans. I have one that's white and one that's a, a red bean like yours, so mine look a little different. But again, these need to be soaked for five hours or overnight. You could do that overnight too um, before you put them in the bag. So, um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my paper towel and I want to fold, the, I, I, I want to get it all wet so that, because um, seeds need sunlight and water and usually they need some dirt too and so eventually they're going to need some dirt but right now we're just going to use sunlight and water so you're going to get this wet and i'm just going to pretend that i got mine wet so you're going to get it wet and you could, before you get it wet you could fold it in half like this and then you could fold it in half again like this and then get it all wet and then i want you to put it in your plastic bag and I don't want to put mine way down here at the bottom because um, because I'm gonna to want to look at my seeds so I'm gonna put it kind of right here like this and I want my seeds my wet seeds my wet soaked seeds they're gonna go down in the bottom of the bag like this so they'll be so see how my my, my paper towels kind of up here and my seeds are kind of down here. That way they can get enough moisture in there. And then the next thing we want to do is we want to close up our bag. So this little uh, plastic bag um, is supposed to be um, a little bit like the greenhouse Mrs. Holstein showed us. Um, so what will happen in this bag is that it will be um, extra warm in here like the greenhouse and then it'll have um, the water moisture in there because Mrs. Holstein she she has to water those plants in the greenhouse too to get them to grow. So and now we're we're going to be able this is a this is kind of like a science experiment it's not the way we would pl normally plant a seed because it's going to show us some things we're going to be able to see some things about the seeds as we're watching them in this bag. So now you've got them in the bag like this with the paper towel and then you're going to take your greenhouse your um the paper and we're going to put that not on the front not up here we're going to put it on the back and this might be something you might have to help ask a grown up for too i'm going to use a stapler you could use probably it, it might hold too if you had tape that would work probably too so um i'm going to use the stapler and i'm going to staple mine back here i'm going to put one here and one here and then my greenhouse will be ready to go put in a window. So find a very nice sunny window and then um, don't put it like this, put it on the window like this and make sure that those seeds, those seeds back there can get some, get the sunlight. So I'm going to put it up here in the window like this and then I, then I can, I want to watch and see what happens to the seeds. So we're going to leave them alone for a whole day and then Tomorrow, when um, you go back and look at them, I want you to find this little sheet right here. Now, when a scientist is looking at something, they have something that they write. So I'd write Mrs. Wallace's greenhouse journal. And rather than writing, words on day one we're going to take and we're going to open this up like this and i'm going to write with my with my pencil i can write one because it's so it's not today it's tomorrow and 
then I can write what I see. Now, what I hope that you see after you've soaked your seed and it's been in the, in the window for a whole day, what we are looking for is probably, because I've seen seeds before, I kind of know, they'll probably split. You might see a seed split and then you're watching because there should be roots starting to grow. So let's just say I have my red bean seed. I'm going to draw a picture of my red bean seed and color it in like that. And then um, I'm going to use a, a different crayon and I'm going to write some little things like this that are coming out like that. Okay. And then maybe at some point when the bean starts to grow its roots, you can, um, you can put this in the ground. And what we hope is that you'll be able to draw some green leaves and then eventually some beans will start to come and you'll get to watch for those. Um, but for right now, we want it to stay in your greenhouse for a few days while you take these observations and draw your pictures. So have fun with your greenhouses. Thank you, Mrs. Holstein, for showing us what a real greenhouse looks like. That was a fun uh, field trip. And um, we will see you on our next video. Bye, friends. Bye, friends. Bye, friends.